Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a two color adjustable eternity knot paracord bracelet. So first of all, a huge shout out to Tom over at Why Not. I saw his video and I had to make one for myself because, you know, it ties into the channel, no pun intended. But anyhow, uh, yeah, this is a two color eternity knot, kind of done that sort of adjustable friendship style bracelet. So remember guys, if you're looking for where to get paracord, you can check out my affiliate links down below. You can help out the channel by going through those links and whatnot. And uh, with that all being said, let's get into the tutorial. So to start out, I'm working with one of my pieces of paracord. I'm gonna make a simple overhand loop like so. And with that same shorter end, I'm gonna bring it around behind and kind of make this sort of figure eight and keep that working strand in front on that first loop. Now I'm gonna take my second cord, feed it through that triangle in the middle from behind, bring it forward. And again, I'm gonna do an overhand loop uh, this time pointing upwards though okay so with that overhand loop pointing up i'm going to take that same working strand bring it back down behind and i'm going to go through the loop uh, furthest to the right so from here you should have what looks like this and now all you're going to do is cinch up the knot so start pulling on the longer strands and uh, go a bit slower if you have to and if you have some excess cord, you can uh, work that out at the end, but uh, I'm just gonna start firming up this knot and uh, try to keep it nice and flat and work out all the excess. So as, as you can see, you can work out that excess cord just by moving it through the knot. And um, you can just leave a little bit on um, of the excess there because we're gonna clip that off and you know snip and melt it. So again, just keep working that knot till it's nice and firm and it looks like the eternity knot, like so. Next, we're gonna take our scissors and just clip off the excess cord. These cords are running out the back of the knot. And of course, don't clip it too short. You wanna be careful, you wanna melt that cord just so it's nice and melted and then press it down with the um, smoothing tool or your knotter's tool, whatever you have. And do that for both excess cords. Now that our two color eternity knot is done, we're going to take our uh, working cords and tie the scaffold knot to connect it to the other side. So I've got it lined up with my red cord, okay? I'm gonna take that cord, I'm gonna wrap it around twice, okay, going away from me. And I like to form that little X there where the two cords cross over, and then I'm gonna put that working end underneath both of those uh, crossed over cords and then you just pull that shut. And that is one side done already. So with that done, we're gonna go to the other side now. And you may have to adjust the um, length of these cords or the amount of um, yeah, length in between them just for the bracelet size. But you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I've got my red next to my orange. I'm going to wrap it around twice again, forming that crossover X. Okay. And then of course you're going to wrap it underneath, or sorry, put the cord underneath both those crossed over cords. So super simple on this one, you're going to cinch up that second scaffold knot. And from here, you can adjust your sizing. Um, if you don't want those two scaffold knots to be so close to the eternity knot when it's you know on your wrist, you can you know take out some of the cord, make it shorter, and have the um, those scaffold knots further back. And again, just take your you know knife, scissors, whatever, and we're just gonna clip off the excess cord now and um, just melt those uh, end so they don't fray. I like to leave a little bit of a you know tip on the end of the cord or you could you know clip off the cord uh, really close to the scaffold knot too if you want. It's entirely up to you. All right and there we have it. We are done. The two color eternity knot 
looks great, nice and simple, and I think a lot of you will enjoy making one or several of these for you or your friends. Alright, so here's a quick shot of it on the wrist. And while I'm struggling to get it on, a huge thank you again, as always, to my Patreon supporters. Uh, you know, you guys are making a huge difference for me on that platform. So, uh, guys, if you want access to the exclusive tutorials of the month and also the giveaways, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the video as well as down below. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, huge shout out to Why Not. Uh, awesome tutorial on his channel. I'll link his channel down below as of course. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, the two-color et Eternity Knot. Hope you guys make it for yourself. See you on the next video. Bye.